We are coming up on night two of the Democratic Convention, and we'll continue our complete coverage with our powerhouse political team right here on ABC News Live. For a preview of what you can expect for tonight, let's bring in ABC News political director Rick Klein. So, Rick, you have three speeches that you're focused on tonight. Which ones, and what are you expecting in each of those remarks? Lindsay, the Democrats doing a whole lot of business with the, the, the gamut of speakers that they're unveiling tonight. Uh, the biggest speech of the night probably belongs to Jill Biden. Uh, of course, she was the second lady of the United States for eight years, but I think a large swath of the public isn't really familiar with her. She'll be talking about the relationship with her husband, his commitment to leadership, and she'll be speaking from an important site, the school that she taught at back in the early 1990s in Delaware. Uh, the other speech that I'm looking at, uh, Bill Clinton. He has been a major force at virtually every Democratic convention going back for 40 years. He's given some of the most memorable speeches in convention history. Some uh, memorable for good reasons, some not so good reasons. He's got a pension for going long and he'll be on tape tonight. And then there's Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Uh, she was still, still a, a campaign volunteer four years ago at the last convention. So this is her first convention appearance. A lot being made of the fact that she's being allotted barely 60 seconds to make the case as she sees it for Senator Bernie Sanders. But those words, those seconds will be very carefully analyzed for signals about uh, her coalition and the kind of leadership that she hopes to see in this Democratic Party. We're also going to see the process of the actual balloting tonight in order to officially make Joe Biden the Democratic nominee. Why does that process matter and how will it be different from past conventions given the virtual format? This is the actual business of a convention. Everything else is window dressing and Zoom calls that are uh, meant to make everyone look good. It, uh, TV production is one thing, but the actual nominating process, that roll call vote, carries the force of, of law binding the Democratic Party to Joe Biden as the actual nominee. Uh, this is the part where you have all kind of flowery language, the great state of Georgia and its peaches, the selects, that sort of thing. This is going to be a lot more streamlined, but this year, because it's virtual, we're going to see a tour of the nation, starting at the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Alabama, the site of Bloody Sunday. Sunday massacre, where, where the late Congressman John Lewis was, was almost killed uh, back in the civil rights era, uh, and then extending through landmarks uh, around the country, culminating with the, the, the celebration, although a virtual one, of Joe Biden being selected as the nominee. And, and finally, debating and finalizing the party platform is usually a big part of the conventions. What's happening with that this year? Yeah, the Democrats have done as much as they can to take the drama away from that. The voting has actually happened already. It happened virtually over a couple of weeks. Uh, voting happened online. And now we, we assume that that platform has already been approved, but it will be announced. We, we are also expecting a couple of hundred delegates probably to vote against it. Many of them Bernie Sanders delegates upset that the platform doesn't include a call for Medicare for all or things like the Green New Deal. Uh, it's a symbolic vote, but it does just remind you, Lindsay, that the Democrats, for all the unity they're showing this week, still have some pretty deep policy divisions. Rick Klein, our thanks to you, and we'll, of course, have much more convention coverage coming up. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.